In this quick lesson, we're going to do an overview of the new Libraries feature in the soon-to-be-released Luminar 3. If you're not already familiar with Luminar, it's a great photo enhancement and editing app that I use quite often alongside the Mac Photos app as well as Pixelmator. In Luminar 3, which will be released on December 18th, a new Libraries feature has been added that lets us browse and organize folders of photos directly from Luminar, much like Adobe Lightroom. So I've just launched Luminar 3, and over on the right, notice that we now have a Library tab in the sidebar. For now, we'll focus on the Folders section here. When Luminar 3 is first launched, it will ask you to designate a folder to use as a library. By default, it will suggest the Pictures folder that resides in your Home folder. That's what I have visible here. Any photos or image files compatible with Luminar are displayed over in the main window because All Photos is currently selected up here. If I open a Finder window, we can view the images inside the Pictures folder that are now displayed in Luminar. Notice that this picks up all images in the Pictures folder and the folders within that folder. Now, rather than using the Pictures folder, I'm going to click the Add button next to the Folders section here and actually create a new folder in my Pictures folder called Luminar Collections. You can add as many folders here as you want, even from external drives. Next, I'm going to right-click on the Pictures folder here in Luminar and choose Remove from Catalog. That leaves me with just the Luminar Collections folder, which at the moment is empty. So I'm going to drag a couple images in there from another folder. And in the Mac Photos app, I'm going to export a couple photos to the Luminar Collections folder. Now those images are going to start appearing here in Luminar. Notice that we can break these down by year or by when they are added in the All Photos Shortcut section. Add a new album here in Luminar and we can then manually add images to it. This won't move the images out of their original folders. These are just references here in the album. Now let's double click on an image and select a preset to apply to it. Notice that we can go into the Edit tab here in the sidebar to add or remove filters to this preset. If we locate this image in the Finder, notice that the effect isn't applied here. This is only occurring in Luminar. It's not affecting the original image. The data applied to the photo by Luminar is stored in the Luminar Catalog folder, which will also be saved in your Pictures folder by default. You shouldn't need to do anything with this folder or the database files within it. Luminar does all that work. So the changes that you make in Luminar are saved only in Luminar. To view changes applied in Luminar elsewhere, we need to use the Export, Share, or Open in options from the File menu. So that's a quick look at the new Libraries feature in Luminar 3. Click the link below and use the code TMU10 to save $10 off the already discounted pre-order price for Luminar 3. The pre-order discount ends December 18th, but $10 off with the TMU10 code doesn't expire. To learn more about the Photos app on your Mac, 
take a look at the pair of tutorials that we have available to all Access members of the MacU. Thanks for watching.